Hello students, welcome to my channel, Eddie Deepak, and this is uh, the 30th video. That means hash zero three zero. So this is the hashtag of uh, this video, and this video contains uh, third and fourth questions of uh, motion in a straight line chapter. And previously we have completed the chapters uh, units and measurements and uh, physical world and uh, some problems regarding the units and measurements chapter. So without doing any late, uh, once uh, do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon and all options to get notified in our every video uploading. Third, video, third question is, can the velocity of an object be in a direction other than the direction of acceleration of the same object? That means if uh, an object is uh, there, so with mass, so if an object is there, so I think this is the object uh, and this object is uh, opposite direction to the acceleration and this velocity. So they are asking that uh, like this, so his velocity is downward and uh, the acceleration is upward. So is this possible? That means uh, opposite sides of acceleration and velocity is possible for an object uh, in the other directions. So yes, this is possible. One of the example, if so, give an example. So it is right. So we have to give an example or not also you have to give an example to prove our theory. So for this uh, we have to, the example is a freely falling body. So not a freely falling body and a projectile motion body. That means uh, a, bo a body is thrown, an object is thrown upside. So like this, when it reaches the maximum height, uh, so the velocity is uh, keep increasing when it is reaching the maximum height. So at this time uh, velocity is increasing and uh, so velocity opposite direction of acceleration. So acceleration that means uh, in the maximum height uh, here it is h uh, maximum height. So at this point uh, the acceleration turns into the acceleration due to gravity and velocity is so velocity is uh, upward and uh, the acceleration always acts uh, which is acceleration due to gravity. So gravity always pulls a downside. So acceleration due to gravity is uh, downside. So these are opposite sides. So velocity is in upward and gravity acceleration due to gravity is downward. This is the third question students. When we enter into the fourth question, a parachutist uh, flying in an in a aeroplane jumps when it is at a height of uh, 3 kilometers above the ground. That means uh, the aeroplane, so I am representing it with uh, A. So I think this is an aeroplane. So this is the ground. So this is the ground. Uh, that means uh, the aeroplane is uh, 3 kilometers uh, away from the, that means 3 kilometers height from the ground. So this is 3 kilometers. He opens, so where is the question? He opens his parachute uh, when he is about one kilometer above the ground. That means a person in the aeroplane, so a person B in the aeroplane jumps out of the aeroplane. So he opens his parachute uh, at about one kilometer. One kilometer, so think uh, this is an one kilometer distance from the ground. So here, so here he opens uh, his parachute. So here he opens his parachute. So this is parachute. Think only thing. It is a parachute. Describe his motion. So when he is uh, here aeroplane uh, after jumping. So he is in freely falling motion. And after he opens. So we have to firstly write the question point. Which uh, gives us explanation about the regarding question. And uh, he is after uh, 3 kilometers, he jumps uh, and uh, he will be in freely falling body motion uh, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square which is constant. After 1 kilometer uh, from the ground reaching, uh, he will open the parachute uh, and the parachute uh, have the ends, uh, tip ends no? So these ends uh, are equal to gravitational force. So he can, so this force is equal and this force is equal. So this gravitational force uh, takes come him downside and this also is equal to. So he will be in equilibrium position from the gravitational force uh, and he will be able to launch downside very very less difficulty. 
so he can reach the ground with very very much uh, less difficulty because uh, these ends have same gravitational force uh, and uh, force so here they, he can land very easily so this is the simple question which uh, we can describe his motion and this is the problem this is the problematic question uh, which is simple concept uh, velocity and acceleration are in opposite directions if you like my lecture so like the video and comment your opinion on my videos thanks for watching students